Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Bucky Lawley, and I assist with support and training for Transit and Level Clinic, the Southeast leading Leica Geosystems dealer. Today, I'd like to spend some time discussing how to create a coordinate system within Leica Captivate software. Simply put, a coordinate system is a way to describe positions on the surface of the Earth. The most popular of these coordinate systems, at least by US standards, are coordinate systems derived from state plane. For this example, we will be creating an Alabama East coordinate system, but the same method will work for any other state or geographic area. To begin, we will open our Leica Captivate software and select Tap here to create a new job. For this particular example, I have created a job entitled Training. Now in Captivate fashion, this job will appear as an icon or what we call as an album cover on the top carousel of our screen. Once we locate our job, simply click on it and the album cover will rotate, giving the user a number of options, including view and edit job properties, which is where we will start the process. Now, if you have never created or preloaded a coordinate system, the word none will appear in the coordinate system field. Let's start by clicking there. In this example, we want to create a new coordinate system. So select new at the bottom of the screen. We've now arrived at the screen that we need to select the proper parameters for our coordinate system. Let's start by naming our coordinate system. This can be any name, but for this example, we will call it Alabama East 12B signifying that we have selected the Alabama East State Plane, Geoid 12B. Moving down, we will not be selecting or using a transformation for this coordinate system. So we will skip this field and proceed by selecting the correct ellipsoid, which in this case is GRS 1980. If you do not see your selection here, simply select the function key at the bottom of the screen and then hit default. This will allow you to recall factory default ellipsoids, which will include most of the selections that you will need. From here, we can slide down, now see the GRS 1980 ellipsoid, select it and hit OK. Moving forward under the projection tab, we will import our state planes and locate Alabama East. Now I have previously done this, but if you have nothing in this field, just as we did using our last field, the ellipsoid field, we could come in, select function, default, and we can also bring these coordinate systems in as well. For this example, we are selecting Alabama East, NAD 83, selecting OK. For geoid model, we will import it by selecting import and then selecting the proper geoid. If you are using the newer software, most geoids will appear automatically. However, for users of older software, you may need to import these using an SD card or a USB key please view some of our other videos to show you how this process works as well. Again, for this example, we will select Alabama Geoid 12B, GRS 1980, select OK. Returning to the new coordinate system page, we will not be using a CSCS model, so we will skip this last field and select Store at the bottom of the screen. You've now created the Alabama East coordinate system and you could select it for both your current and future jobs. I appreciate you watching our video today. If you would like to support our company, you can do so on the web at www.transitandlevel.com. Again, that is www.transitandlevel.com.